Well, hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. So we're starting off today a bit differently. We are doing a bit of lawn care for one of the neighbours. We are in the Amazon Profi Hopper. So we bought this. Bought a nice trailer for it to go on as well. Just in case we were to ever diversify and... Uh, branch out into the lawn care business so today is going to be the first cut of all the grass areas we've already done a couple of the public areas that just needs collecting so we have been busy contracting and we have bought uh, not only this mower and the trailer but we've also bought a forage wagon or a loading wagon so that is down at the store with the John Deere waiting to be used so that will be the first job of the day we'll start getting that collected and into the pit but yeah it's uh, a nice slow start to the day this has taken us a reasonable while it's a big old garden no charge for them, just uh, helping out around the neighbourhood. So that is all finished. Excellent job. Right, we'll get this loaded up and we'll head on down to the store. Well, here we are. Let's uh, just sort the time scale out. So, this is what we've bought. This is the Pottinger Jumbo. 10,020D combi line 46,000 litres and I have remembered to add the silage tanks the silage additive tank so that's all filled up as well so we can now just head around here to the first area that we cut and start collecting So what else have we been doing? Well, contracts as always. We've taken a few on. Let's get this lowered down. Why is that not lowering down? Unfold loading wagon. There we go. That's better. Right, um, yeah, so contracts, we've done, uh, there's been spraying, fertilising, that sort of thing. Uh, also sold a load of straw, one trailer load. That is in preparation for the map swapping over to version 1.2. I believe it is with Giants at the minute for testing so that is hopefully imminent and also we've got loads we're not using it as much as I thought we would we've got another crop of oats in the ground well, we've got a crop of oats in the ground that will give us straw so we can get rid of the older stuff and just use the fresh stuff so this is filling up reasonably quickly already at 50% so not quite sure how much we will get off this. Quite like the picture of the cows on the back. So other than that, it's been steady progress. All the animals are fed. We are getting a fair amount of eggs now. So we need to keep an eye out on the price when that is at its best. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll just check that now. Down to eggs. So we are in May, aren't we? Yeah, second day of May. So November it peaks. Okay, well, got a bit to go yet, so we'll have a fair old amount to sell then. But yeah, this is going well. 
it looks like we're going to use about two litres ish of the additive per wagon load. There we go. Right, we'll get this up to the clamp and get it tipped in. First load being tipped, just trying to trying to get it relatively even. Let's have a look what that looks like. Uh, not too bad. So we'll just jump out and have a quick look at that. So yeah, 46,000. Lovely. Right, back in the tractor and uh, we will crack on. Right then, fifth and final load off that field with another 30 something thousand litres. I did try and keep the clamp in some form of order, but it's just gone out the window a bit. So we'll hop out and have a quick look at how much we've got. 220,000 litres off that field. I think uh, we're going to do rather well from this uh, first cut. So, I think we'll have a break from collecting the grass for now. So we'll pull this out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll jump in the fence. He says he's got caught on the auger. So we'll leave that there, jump into the fent, which has a lovely set of mowers on, and we will get cracking in field four, and then uh, field, what was it, 35, there we go, right, I'll see you in a second. Right, up and down now, headland and a bit done. I do enjoy mowing. It's just, especially with these mowers that we haven't got a wind row. It is just a nice easy job. There we go. Then lift it up. spin round and go back down the field there we go so I think what we'll do is once we've done these fields we will just leave them we won't uh, fertilise them or anything because the map is going to be updated soon hopefully and um, we've got other things we can be doing. We're going to get through to harvest. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem much point really in putting the time in to fertilise something that we're going to have to plough up again and redo with the new save game. So that is the plan. So I am going to get this done put it onto a bit of a time lapse and I'll see you in a little bit. Right, field 35, just doing the headland. So I have uh, been thinking about which map 
we can uh, move on to next. Or maybe add in, I think, because I do want to do a fair bit on the 1.2 Carmsden as the new crop type, linseed, precision farming, and um, yeah, I think it'd be. I like the map, I love the map, and I want to I want to carry on with it. Um, so I think the one that I am waiting for is Attigan Park. I uh, played a lot of that on console on 19, and it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I just loved the layout of it. I loved the way it starts, where you you have a tractor, a mower, access to the biogas plant, etc., and you start up from basically just making silage and selling it you know you have to work your way up and uh, yeah it's for me it's a great map hopefully oh, I don't want to do that hopefully GB will get it to us well it'll be with us as soon as it's with us isn't it nothing to say but yeah that's where we'll I think probably where we'll go next. So where are we with? There we go. Ah, get hold of this one day. So yes, Attingham Park. We will be adding that into the schedule, so to speak. And we only have one more running. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So, I am going to get this sorted. Let's just do it the easy way. There we go. So, yeah, Attigan Park, back to where we were. Um, we'll add that in. We'll do Carmston and Attigan. Goodness knows that how that's going to work, but that would be the plan. We may do Carmston with precision farming and Attigan without, I think just to uh, yeah, break things up a bit have a bit of an easier run on Attingham it's a slightly bigger map in some areas so we might be able to venture into some bigger equipment as soon as it is available but yeah so that's the plan at least for the moment um, I will let you know if anything changes finished this field and uh, yeah it's taken all of uh, five minutes six seven minutes maybe looks like that uh, now I'm talking I'm not concentrating what I'm doing so I've tried to get the uh, little bits that I missed you'll have even seen on the uh, previous time that's near the field I went back and got that tiny little bit 
because it would bug me and I'm sure it would bug other people as well. So that's all done. It's bumpier than I seem to remember down this end of the field. Did I get it? No. I'll have to leave that tiny little bit. There we got it. Let's get them all folded up. I think what we'll do is probably let's have a think. We'll put the vent onto the loading wagon now, and then that can be carting while we um, give the John Deere. A rest, <laughs> son of a person. Um, yes, so vent, carting, John Deere sat waiting to be used for probably the compaction of the silo. So we will get the loading wagon and I'll see you back in the field. Right then, we'll start in 35 as it's the closest one. Because I've got a sneaking suspicion we may have enough to fill the pit off this uh, field. Possibly some of the next one as well. Because I mentioned at the start we cut two fields already. One was by the store that we picked up earlier. Just navigate through these S's. We'll come back for any bits we miss. Um, and the other is by the brewery and garden centre um, so if it comes to it we will bail that and then they can just be sold for uh, silage bales rather than going into the pit if we're too full been and topped up the silage additive so that's all it's back to 10 litres I think it is so we are getting through it. The what else was I going to say? There was something else. It will come back to me. So I think well we're going to be nearly full from just this first headland. So we are getting a serious amount of grass off this, which is good. Definitely helped improving the yield by ploughing everything in and putting all that effort in that we did so that is all good so yeah we're going to get full from one and a bit passes back up a little bit more and there we go, we're full. Let's just try not to drive over the rows too much. Right, we'll get this in the clamp. And then it'll be uh, rinse and repeat, I think. So it's come back to me what I was going to say, <laughs> finally. I was going to talk about mods and the fact that the ones that were causing issues last week now, blimey that's gone quick, um, have been prioritised for updates by Giant, so I think that's a good thing, and uh, yeah, it's, I suppose it's difficult isn't it, you're trying to keep everybody happy, um, but you can't help but feel that, I don't know, they've changed something that they knew was being used by modders in the codes I guess I don't know enough about it to comment properly but they must have realised that it would do something but hey they're taking steps to rectify that so can't knock them too much and when you think about the complexities of this game there's always going to be something that crops up but then again that's why you have a testing process and procedures in place 
So who knows? But anyway, they're taking steps to rectify it, so all good. And it's not like we can't live without mods for a few days, is it? In some cases, maybe not. Right. I will do a couple more loads. We'll see how we get on. And I think we may need to put some attention onto the pit to uh, get that levelled, tidied up a bit. And... Uh, so we can get as much as we can in. I'm not actually sure what the capacity is, but we want to get as much as we can in there. So, I'll stop rambling, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. in. I will show you my amazing reversing. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. As you can see it's getting quite full, especially at the back which is good obviously. There is a fair bit of space left so we should be able to maybe sneak some more in. Hopefully plenty more. So we can set that going. And you can see it stops at the limit. Just pull forward a bit. Stopped again and just rinse and repeat. Carry on going forward. Back it up a bit. It'll take some more. It will. There we go. And we've got stuck. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh freed itself, no. Right, let's get this on. <laughs> oh, you couldn't write it. We will uh, get the trailer freed with brute force. It's a good job we own it. We haven't got to return it. To nearly smacking it up the wall. Right, we'll do a loop and we'll get some more chaff. Grass, chaff, whatever you want to call it. Let's go. Back in the field, plodding on through this now, and I think, uh, yeah, it's just one of those jobs, isn't it, that you, you know, hopefully everybody knows what the smell of freshly cut grass smells like, so you can kind of picture it, maybe, yeah, I'm just dribbling on now, um, right, we will get this field finished and I'll see you back at the clamp and we can see how much we've got and whether we've got any space left. Right so we're in the pit and um, you can see already it's made a massive difference and, I th and that is down to the fact that the way loose materials perform. I mean look we've got a full bucket full there and it just pushes. It, it, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. The way they do it, I don't know how, but you are just distributing a loose material as you would in real life. It just pushes and moves and a lot more realistically than previous. So, it allows you to just take the sharp bits off, sharp bits of points, peaks, troughs, whatever. But also we're... Uh, at the same time what we're up to 13% so I think what we can do is we've got so much more space in here so 
we're definitely going to have room to get everything else in. So we'll go and get the remainder of the field collected. Uh, we'll get this out of the way. And um, yeah, we will just push on, get that field done, field four. And uh, yeah, I'm doing it again because I can't actually think what to say, so I'm going to shut up. Right then, sometime later, we have cleared field four, got everything in the pit. I think it was about 520 something thousand litres, all compacted and covered over. So that is starting to ferment. So all good there. And now we're going to do something a bit different. All right, we've done baling before. But we haven't used this cracking bit of kit before. So this is by 4D Modding. And it's a Heston baler. And it's a brilliant mod. The sounds, the animations, everything is brilliant. We've got the Silas tank on the back. That's all filled up. Wasn't sure how much it was going to use. So if we jump in here... We're going to get this baled, just check on the bale sizes, yep, 220, so if we unfold this, see what I mean by the sounds, it's brilliant. We've had the strobes on it, as you can see, just about. So, what are we going to do, we're going to bale this, we're going to hopefully use coarse play to wrap the bales and then we are going to pick them up with the telehandler and stick them on the trailer thought I'd do a bit of manual loading for a change so right the strobes off there we go listen to that lower it down and off we go now, I don't know how quick this is going to fill up. Reasonably quickly by the look of it. There we go. It's nice not having to stop and unload for a change. This should be a reasonably quick job. So what we'll do is, once we start dropping them on the ground, we'll jump in the John Deere and get that wrapping, just to see if it works. So we'll drop two. that there, get in the John Deere, unfold that, if we come round here, now my only concern with this is that it's quite a wide tractor, this is obviously the map boundary so we need to see how it performs, so if we bring up this, you can see there in the right, uh, right hand, left hand menu there's a course play, hire AI worker collecting and wrapping bales, so if we control H, target is not on a field so let's just jump into here we're over here aren't we so create a job bail and wrap and see if it will do it I'll have a play with this and I'll see you in a sec. So 
here we go. I think it's going to work now. Beautiful. Look at that. Excellent. So that will now wrap that, drop it off, and follow us around. So if we get back into the vent, we can carry on and, uh, yeah, get this all bailed up and uh, start the manual loading process. So we've all we're all bailed up. Got uh, everything, I think. So let's have a look how many bales we actually made. Twenty-five, not bad. And the worker seems to be in the brook. <laughs> oh dear! Something tells me that this is not going to work in a field like this so oh dear oh and now you're properly stuck oh no come on there we go right so rather than just spinning it round and going the other way it decided to uh, try and get it from a weird angle I'm not much better. There we go. No. Come on. I don't seem to remember it being so finicky in uh, 19. I suppose it's to aid realism. I think what we'll do is just do it ourselves. And... Um, or maybe just do the ones around the edges so it doesn't have to beach itself and then we'll try the ones in the middle I reckon so I'll see you when we start loading up well interestingly it started to work again I'm not quite sure what I did but it seems to be doing it at the minute so we can start the loading process now don't profess to be a master at this at all. Um, you'll see we've got a different bail for. We've got one from the Robert Robert pack. So this is uh, was released yesterday, I believe, on Mod Hub. Various different uh, bail grabs and what not. So we're giving this a go. Hopefully it be a bit more supportive for the bale on the top as they're a bit bigger. So we need to get a little bit closer to the front. And then... There we go. Now, my only thought is... I don't think this trailer's got straps. Which is going to be rather infuriating okay well we'll have to have a steady drive back and that probably will not be filmed for obvious reasons so I'll do a little bit of this and I will catch up with you when we've made some more progress well we're back um, loading up you'll notice that I have swapped the trailer so we have leased this uh, Roland one which allows us to strap so we're not going to have the uh, the issue of the bales 
falling off on the way back to the yard which is which is handy so we've got two four six twelve on there so far we'll get another four on the back and hopefully we can then start doing another uh, stack of them it's going all right we uh, steady progress like I said don't do much manual bail loading but it's quite nice to do some occasionally so I think what I'll do is we'll put this to a bit of a time lapse won't be a mad massively quick one because um, I've got a feeling it might make everybody feel a bit sick but uh, yeah so I'll see you when we've got the trailer full I think now so that's actually gone surprisingly well and kind of looks neat I'm not saying it's perfect but it will do for what we want so we'll just jump out throw a strap over that there we go super we'll get that one there as well so we'll, we'll engine off have a look how much we actually have 139,850 litres marvellous well I've enjoyed that surprisingly it went reasonably well once we got the trailer with the strap sorted so I think we will leave it there for today thank you very much for watching if you haven't already give us a like subscribe to the channel turn on that bell, get some notifications of when I post videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.